All right, here's my little board. I put some, I used the SMA version, put the SMAs on here. And uh, see that? There we go. So all the parts on there. I uh, bent my little leads on my Mimic to uh, be a gull wing part. And I've got uh, 0.1 microfarad, 0.1 microfarad in and out. And then I've got about a 400. Let's see, what's the, the value for 12 volts is supposed to be 412 ohms. I think I have measured 418, so pretty close. Bunch of bypass caps for filtering the supply. And I put this little cap on the output just to have something to grab onto. <laughs> so I could put my uh, put my leads on there to hook up the uh, hook up the power. So we're going to be measuring this on two different devices. Uh, first one we'll measure with a uh, spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator. So I'm going to put a, uh, a an SMA through into the two uh, ins and outs. And I've already calibrated it here, but you can see that we have a uh, Normally, if we don't have the, uh, uh, let's see here, uh, oops, uh, if we don't have normalization, it kind of looks like that. And if we store the ref and we normalize and get a nice straight line right at zero dBm. And uh, so we will uh, put our device under test in between. Let's see, this is our, this is our Gozinza, is over here. And our goes out is over this one. So we will attach our SMAs. And there it is without any power applied. That's kind of interesting, but yeah, there we go. Or we are connected. So then let me put in a, uh, uh, some power. So plus 12 will go here and ground will go, ground will go there. So we're all ready to go. I just need to turn on the power. So power on and there we go. Um, we are about plus 17 and a half dB gain and then it falls down, but this, device is only rated at uh, one gigahertz okay and so if we put a marker at one gigahertz it's right there so you can see that we're above 15 db of gain out to uh out to one gigahertz so let's uh move things around a bit let's change the frequency max to one gigahertz there we go and you can see we have about, uh, yeah, we have about uh, 17. Well, here we can use the marker. We can use the marker. So over here, we're running 17 and a half, 17. And at the very end, we're like 16.3. And the data sheet says 17.8. So yeah, we were certainly, but it's measured at, measured at 100 megahertz. So uh, 100 megahertz, we are measuring 17.62. The data sheet says 17.8. I say it's a win-win. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Our little amplifier is working. All right, let's measure the board with a different, with a different device. We're gonna measure it with the uh, VNA, okay? We'll do a uh, S21 measurement. We can do an S11 measurement as well. So we'll check our calibration here. I'll put in a through, a through into our, uh, into our machine here. All right, we'll go to measure transmission S21. We are going between um, zero and one megahertz. We'll do a cal res, oops. A cal response, measure the standards. There we go. We get a straight line. Everything's looking good. Let's make sure our power is set to minus 20 dBm. That's good. So now we can insert our device under test. So we will do that now. Look up our, 
products here. Okay, we got in and out connected. Not very well yet. There we go, that's that. Okay, so uh, we can come back to our screen and let me put on some power. Uh, let's see here. All right, and let me turn the power on. And there we go. So we're getting 17.5 uh, uh, dBm of gain, nice and flat. Uh, so just the same picture as we got last time. So uh, very nice. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do now is maybe look at S11. All right, let's turn on uh, reflection measurement. And woof, there we go, look at that, look at that Smith chart. Very nice right there at uh, 50 ohms in the middle. And uh, let's look at Visor. If you don't like uh, Smiths, uh, we can do log mag. Log mag's down here around minus 20. Good to go. Or Visor, we're at 1.2. Look at that, 1.2, because 20 dB and 1. Point. Anyway, I have them all memorized. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Smith charts are the most fun thing to look at. But yes, we are set at 50 ohms. And the data sheet says, internally matched at 50 ohms. So yes, indeed it is. Okay, well that was a Mar 1 uh, on one of these little PC boards that I bought. And uh, yeah, it works great. Um, but I think I still want to lay out my own PC board uh, just for the enjoyment and having a silk screen, so so solder mask, uh, so solder stencil, I should say it right, solder stencil to put on the uh, solder, solder paste and everything, so. Uh, you guys would have more fun with it, and uh, yeah, I think it's looking. Uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Now the Mar two and the Mar four and the Mar six and the Mar eight, they're all they're all different. So um, when I get my own boards and they're easy to populate, uh, then we can try out all those different versions and and see what they look like. 